Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. Thanks so much for joining me tonight, either uh, by replay or watching live. I appreciate you checking out the video. Um, I'm just going to get some things together here, make sure I'm live in the right spot, and then we're going to dive in and get started. Uh, tonight, I'm using uh, the, what's it called? <laughs> Range a Wreath uh, Bundle. And uh, bundles are great because when you buy a bundle, you're going to save 10%. So you can either bundle uh, a couple different things. You can bundle a stamp set with dies, a stamp set with a punch, um, a grouping of paper or ink pads or something of the sort. Uh, but in any case, tonight's bundle is the Arranger Wreath. Let me show you the stamp set. Here's our stamp set that we're working with. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello. Barb and Jean Ann, Terry, Michelle. Hi, everyone. Uh, so here's the stamp set. What's great about this stamp set and the bundle as a whole is that it covers an array, and I really mean an array, of holidays, circumstances. Uh, so we have um, just a general stamped wreath. You have a Christmas sentiment. You have a partridge. I think that's what that is. <laughs> um, you have a best wishes. So you could do like birthday, Easter, give thanks. Um, happy Heart Day and Valentine's. And uh, what's neat about this stamp set is it comes with, the dies are equally as fun. So the dies are wreath builder dies. And uh, that's what they look like. There's lots here. I love it. Lots of options, uh, lots of layering and things that can do go on. Hi, Jillian. Um, we have two wreath cutouts. This is the one we're going to use tonight. We have a couple of, um, what's that called? Whatever that's called outline dies I guess that coordinate with our stamped images and then we have a couple of like standalone dies which I love um, we have this flower which is the one we're going to use tonight we have a heart a couple of flowers a large one and then a smaller one and uh, then this uh, bow so lots of fun things our sentiment will come from the beautiful autumn and I'll show you that when we get there so let's just dive in tonight and I'm going to switch up a couple of things. I like to do that for my Facebook Lives, mostly because it gives me a chance to try things different. Um, second time around, you know, as I'm creating, I always can kind of look back and go, hmm, I wonder what that would have looked like with this. Or I wonder if I had added that. So I'm going to add a, just or change a couple things tonight. So my cardstock uh, is Mossy Meadow. That's our card base. It's going to measure five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter, Mossy Meadow. Believe it or not, I actually remember my bone folder. I never remember my bone folder, and somehow, miraculously so, I remember it tonight. <laughs> okay, next I have a panel, uh, or a pattern, I should say, of Mossy Meadow uh, designer series paper. So this comes from the Neutrals designer series pack. Uh, there are two patterns for each color. They are double-sided. And uh, Mossy Metal, although it's a color, it's actually in the Neutrals uh, pack. It's in the Neutrals color family. So be sure to look for it there. And I thought this um, wood green kind of went well <laughs> with the sort of rustic uh, feel I was going for our card. I'm going to tell you ahead of time, I think I'm going to run out of adhesive at some point. But I do have a refill ready to go. But just so you know that I don't have much confidence that this is going to get me through. I have, I don't really know, like once you, you know, this is my first uh, roll. So I'm getting a feel for exactly, you know, when I think it's over. <laughs> so this uh, piece here is four and a quarter by five and a half. It's the complete size of our card front. It covers the entire card front. Hi, Linda. Hello, hello. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate it, as always. Um, okay, so then I'm going to take, this isn't Whisper White. I'm actually using Very Vanilla. I don't use Very Vanilla too often, to be honest with you, uh, but I use it a lot for fall cards <laughs> or when I'm going more rustic or earth tones, I guess is what I would like to say. So uh, this here is Very Vanilla, and this is one of the things I switched up. Um, I decided to emboss it give it a little bit of texture. Uh, my sample here isn't, it's just the plain card, um, yeah, cardstock. But I figured, yeah, why not? 
let's just throw a little texture on here and then we can kind of compare and contrast to see which one we like more. Um, this one is a three and three quarters by three and three quarters. It's a perfect square. And then I'm gonna mat it on a panel of cinnamon, I almost said cinnamon sugar. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? Cinnamon cider, although I do love cider. And it's just one eighth bigger. So seven, uh, excuse me, three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And I'm uh, gonna just mat that one over the other. I think I'm gonna like the little bit of texture that this adds. Oh, I should tell you, you're probably wondering where that came from. Although if you've watched my videos before you fully know which one I'm using because it's quickly a favorite. Um, I emboss it using the Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder. I don't think the picture really does it justice. So let me show you again my example here. Just a nice, um, clean, not too loud, just a very subtle uh, texture which I really love. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like it. <laughs> now something else um, I switched up because I have to admit, and again, if you watched my videos before or you follow my blog, you know this, that I don't like the Kelly yellow. I really, really don't like yellow. So I switched out my <laughs> banner colors and uh, I decided to bring in, uh, to do them in cinnamon cider. So I kind of cheated Okay, so if you look at my card, you might think it's like one continue. Oops, one continuous banner, but it's not. Hi, Carrie, no problem. Thanks for joining. It's actually uh, two banners that I cut out, and I'll show you die the dies that I used. And then I just kind of did this with it, and kind of made sure they were sort of straight, and then called it a day. So I kind of did a little bit of trick there. Um, those dies are the Tasteful Labels dies. Again, I use these all the time. I love them so much. For the two of us who don't like yellow, we use it a lot. I know. Well, I don't know. You know, for summer cards, you have your Daffodil Delight, very happy. And then now we're going to fall. And I do like the new Bumblebee or Crush Curry. So this is the die that I used to do that uh, banner. Hi, Joy. Good evening. So again, I just cut out two. And then what I did, let me show you what I did to kind of kind of figure out the spacing. Because if nothing else, I wanted them to be at least even. <laughs> um, yeah, even. So I butted my cardstock right up to the lines. I've told you this before. I use my grid paper a lot when I'm trying to figure out uh, spacing or, oops, why is my... There we go. <laughs> Spacing or stamping straight. I mean, your grid paper is a huge tool, um, so definitely use it. <laughs> Yellow's not your favorite either, Barb. I just, I try sometimes. I really do. I try to use them. I try to stamp them, and I just, it's hard. <laughs> the struggle is real. Okay, so I'm butting that right up, and then what I'm going to do, and make sure I'm doing this backwards, so this is the back of my card here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get my camera straight here, but I don't, I don't know if it is. Okay, um, so don't do it like this. These dies definitely have a right side up and then a negative side, so just be mindful of that if you're going to do it the reverse, that you're adhering down the banner actually upside down. So, uh but your cardstock up right up to one of the lines and then find the line that you want to do. So this is the line I want to uh, put my banner up to. So I'm going to just make that as my guide. So this line is going that way. And that one's parallel that way. I'm going to find that same line in this side. Oops. And, uh, and do the same. Like that. And then when you flip it over, that's why it's a little longer. Hold on, I'm gonna fix it. When you flip it over, uh, it should be even. Now, let me tell you, you saw me just pull that off. If you ever put something down and you're like, that is totally not right and you need to take it off, my, my hint is don't pull your cardstock up, kind of pull it out. If you pull it out, it'll still pull it off, but it won't curl your cardstock. If you go ahead and just rip this up, it's going to totally curl the paper and uh, odds are you, you would have ruined it. Okay, so that's my banner. Again, we're kind of uh, <laughs> uh, making it seem like it's one continuous banner when it's really not. 
our little secret. No one will know except everyone that's watching. <laughs> that's okay though. Um, okay, so let's adhere this to our card front. Try and get it even. Try and get it straight. Again, use your. If you put your card straight on your card on your grid paper, excuse me. I've said it before. Your eye will naturally be seeing straight lines. Um, I hope that makes sense. Okay. I think I like it better in the cinnamon cider. I guess we'll know when we're all done. But that yellow. Oh, it's yellow. I don't like yellow. <laughs> okay. Now let's work on the wreath. This is really fun. And honestly, there's really no right or wrong way to build this uh, wreath. I think I, I don't know what if I said wrong, but the wreath. Um, so whether you're using, if you're making sunflowers or flowers or the eggs or the pears, um, just have fun with it. Try not to overthink it. But I did want to add a little bit of pop to the wreath. So you're definitely going to need mini dimensionals if you want to do this. If you don't, you could just adhere this uh, wreath right to the cardstock and it would be fine. But again, I wanted to have a little bit of lift. So I am going to very carefully and strategically place lots of mini dimensionals all around my wreath here. Um, some of these are really tiny and are really hard to fit one. Another one like this one, that's nice and wider. So he's definitely gonna get a dimensional. And uh, for sure, unless you're gonna go and trim all of your regular size dimensionals, which you could, but, uh, gosh, these are so inexpensive and they're just so much easier to use to just get the mini ones. And they honestly will last you for just about forever. Okay, So you don't have to put them all over, but just enough to make sure um, it's not flapping. Okay, so, and then you can always kind of flip it over and be like, do I need another one somewhere? How are we doing? I think we're good. Okay, so carefully, because now you've put these dimensions, dimensionals on very thin and somewhat delicate leaves, like that one, just peel, oops, that one didn't come. Uh, peel very carefully. So almost hold down with your one finger, peel with the other one. You know, just be careful. Oops. And then, of course, they're going to stick to you as dimensional stickers do. <laughs> they're everywhere. I had to mail a customer something uh, yesterday, and there was a dimensional on it, or the backing of a dimensional. I thought, oh, boy. Well, at least you'll know that I've been stamping and busy <laughs> creating. Okay. Ah, they have a life of their own for sure. Hi, Denise. Hello, hello. Okay, so now we're going to, I don't know if there's a top or a bottom. I don't think so. It almost looks like a perfect circle. Uh, so just kind of aim for center on our cardstock. I think I'm going to like the textured one a lot, lot more. Okay, so it's subtle, but it does add a little bit of a lift there. And uh, anytime you use dimensionals uh, and you have it in lighting, it does kind of create this shadow. So you really are able to see that they pop off the page. Honestly, I use dimensionals just about whenever I can. <laughs> I love them so much. Okay, so we're gonna, like I showed you before, um, we're gonna use this die for the flowers. This one, this little guy for leaves. What else did I use? This is gonna go behind the flower. Uh, oh, and then I use this one for, there's a tiny flower on there. Um, and in these guys, there's two of them. There's two of these and two of these, which is great. If you're working and need to whip out a bunch of them, you can be doing two at a time, which is really helpful. So um, I used that die and I cut out flowers from Bumblebee cardstock. It's one of our new in colors, a nice earthy yellow. Um, and I'm going to, it's going to get squished. I like to think that this is going to last, but odds are it is kind of going to, going to get kind of squished in the card, in the envelope. But I do like to kind of curl my flowers a little bit. Just with the heat of your fingers, if you just kind of like pinch them, they will, they will curl. It's subtle. And again, in the envelope, they're probably going to get squished, but I'd like to really think that they're going to stay like that. <laughs> Um, okay. Oh dear, I lost, I may have to cut it. Oh no, there it is. 
<laughs> I use that center. It's so small. My gosh, you got to be careful. You might lose it. Um, but I cut out two circles from soft suede cardstock to go behind, whoops, to go behind my flower. You really don't see it, honestly. I mean, if I show you, you're like, oh yeah, now I see it. <laughs> but looking quickly, you probably wouldn't even notice um, they're there. But it just gives a little bit of backing. Again, I'm trying to give the feel that this is a sunflower. I do love sunflowers and I love that Stampin' Up! came up with the Stampin' Up! bundle. Whoops, I totally put that backwards. Oh dear, I don't think that's gonna mess it up though. So now I'm covered in the glue, as always. Inevitably, whenever I use liquid glue, I'm covered. I end up sticky. Okay, so you're just gonna put that on the back. Maybe you should curl after. That's probably part of my problem. So put that on and then curl your flowers. Don't do what I did. Do what I say, not as I do. <laughs> now curl them. And uh, just set them aside for a second to dry. Let that glue dry. Now, depending on sort of the cluster of flowers arranging that you want to do here is what you're going to cut out. So I cut out two of the flowers, two of the circles to go behind the flowers. I also cut out two mini flowers. Remember I said there were two sizes. This is the smaller of the two from Cinnamon Cider cardstock. And then, I don't know how many I'm gonna use, but I cut out six of them, of these little like sprig things. Uh, I thought I cut out six. One, two, three, four. Man, I could have sworn I cut out six. I wonder if I dropped one somewhere. Well, you know, it looks like we're using five now. <laughs> I had six, I don't know where the other one went. So uh, again, depending on the layering that you're doing and whatnot is uh, gonna be what you cut out. There's lots of different dyes, lots of different uh, ways you can layer them and such, um, but it's up to you. Okay, so all I'm going to do, if I wasn't doing this live, I would probably let this sit and dry just a little bit more, but um, time is not our friend. So I just put a little bit of liquid glue. Again, you're going to be covered. <laughs> Fair warning. And uh, glue down some of these sprigs. Again, there's really no rhyme or reason. I just kind of like, yep, that looks good. Let that dry upside down. Do another one. I'm kind of putting glue like in a V and then putting one sprig kind of one way and then one sprig kind of the other way. Again, if I wasn't doing this live, I would probably let that sit and dry just a smidge longer before using it. But, uh, you know. That's not gonna happen. So then what I do usually when I'm working with designs, even if it's not like a wreath and if it's just playing around with how I wanna put things on a card, I sort of play with the layout. I kind of play like, do I want like one like there and one like that? Or do I want like one like this and one like that? I mean, just play with it. And then what I do is I take a picture of it. Once I finally have it the way I want it, hold on, excuse me. Once I finally have it the way I want it, uh, because I want it to stay that way, uh, I take a picture of it on my phone and then I clear it off and I know exactly the placement where I want everything, where I, where I want it to go and end up. And uh, I, I, it's not like a matter of playing with it anymore. So just kind of a hint that I do. Um, I think I want it to stay like that, although I can't take a picture with it with my phone because my phone is doing the video. But in the meantime, I'm going to glue down these little guys. These guys are going directly on the cardstock, the very vanilla there. And uh, they're very, it's just a slight little detail. I mean, they're small. Um, these are fun. You could always layer the small one on top of the larger one. You could put little rhinestones or pearls at the center of them to give them a little bling. So uh, lots of options for them. With our sunflowers here, whoops, I'm actually going to glue them down with a dimensional. I'm going to use a mini dimensional because I think a real one would be too big. This is like perfect. Peel it off. And then I'm going to very carefully fit it like in the nook where my wreath isn't, if that makes sense. So basically, where's my scissors? I'm aiming to put it like right here where it's touching 
the very vanilla and not this. Because if I hit that, then it's going to be all wobbly and not going to lay flat. And I really want it to um, lay flat. Okay, so there's one. Another one. Whoops. Again, these mini ones are like perfect size for that back of the flower here. It's like they were made to be, meant to be. Um, hmm. That one should have gone a little lower. Okay, it's okay. Mm, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, right in there. I actually like them a little separated. Um, and then this guy, I don't know. I don't know if I'll use them or not. Oh, I have a dimensional there. That's not gonna fit. I may leave them off. Hold on, let's just play with it a second. I mean, I could put him down there. He's very, <laughs> it's almost not even noticeable. Um, or should we leave them off? I kind of like them off. Let's leave them off. So I actually only used four of those sprigs. In my sample card, I used six. This one I used four. I don't know. Depends on what you want. Depends on the look that you're going for. Um, and then I did add a couple of the 2020-2021. Oh my goodness, such a tongue twister. Uh, enamel dots. Um, so I have Bumble, whoop, hold on, let's try that again. Bumblebee, they are a little tricky, so they're a little finicky, and I did hear that um, they can be a little tricky. So just try and pop up the bottom color and the clear uh, top. Like as you can see with this one, um, like the top came off, oh sorry, the top came off but the color stayed. So you really have to get, if you're using uh, scissors or a scooper or <laughs> scooper, something um, to pop those up. Just kind of make sure you get up under, not up, get under the entire enamel dot and then they'll pull up just fine. I kind of like it with just two. In mine, I did three. One, two, and then I did one up there. I like this one. <laughs> I mean, I like my other one too, but I'm glad I'm having a chance to do it again. <laughs> Let's leave it at that for now. And the thing is here, I did do a bow but I couldn't really figure out a place for it on my card because down here it was like too low. I don't know, you have to let me know if you think I should put a, a bow on it. A bow and a wreath is very nice. Bend the plastic, they come off easier. Oh, okay, thanks Karen, that's a great tip. Do you think I should do a bow? I don't know, I'll set aside, you let me know, I'll do the sentiment and then we can come back. Um, I'm using the thank you, I can't believe I haven't used the stamp set yet. Um, Put the bow on the top, like here, or like there. Oh, I guess I could do that. I usually put a bow on the bottom. Isn't it funny how when you do something, you kind of just get used to doing it a certain way? <laughs> um, the thank you from the beautiful autumn uh, stamp set. Again, this is from the new August. So the Arrange uh, a Wreath bundle is in the annual catalog. The sentiment is from the August to December mini catalog Ooh, i already mounted it jill says no bow karen says no bow okay that's kind of the way i was leaning i kind of liked it not so cluttered but then again i do like the idea of a bow <laughs> it's like i like the idea of it but i don't like how it looks like the final product <laughs> um okay sentiment is getting stamped in cinnamon cider ink oops let's do it this way and uh, I mean, you could cut this out with um, stitched rectangle dies or one of the label dies. There's a lot of different dies you can use to cut this out, but why cut a die when we can fussy cut it? <laughs> All my crafters that hate fussy cutting are going, ugh, why would you fussy cut when you have a die? <laughs> um, because I like the look, I don't know. Okay, so this one I'm kind of quickly doing it, but it's a, a very wide uh, outline that I'm giving it. Oh, away from the flowers, yeah. I think that, I think you're right. I think the ribbon, the bow, it does take away from the flowers. And that's kind of why I left it off to begin with, quite honestly. Um, but I just like the idea of a bow. <laughs> I guess I'm just stubborn. Oh, boy. Okay, so around all your words, there's no right or wrong. Take your time. Anytime you're fussy cutting, just take your time. There's no rush. And I almost imagine like it has this big shadow. Why fussy cut it when you have a die? Uh, that doesn't surprise me, Amy, <laughs> that you would say that. You and Karen hate it. 
I don't mind it, so maybe that's why. But I also think it kind of takes up less room and is a little bit more fluid to the card. Does that make sense? I don't know. Maybe it's just what I tell myself to convince myself to do it. <laughs> but see, it doesn't take long. Okay, that was really quick. If, again, if I wasn't live, I would probably take my time just a little bit longer. She's a little crazy penny. <laughs> I do it so quickly. Well, I do. I fussy cut a lot. So it's like practice. You guys have to practice. That's the problem. You're not practicing. <laughs> okay. So my sentiments going here. I did toy with um, embossing in white. It would take you 20 minutes. It would not. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I did toy with stamping or heat embossing on white. Um Here's the thing, though. I'm kind of anal about uh, um, colors. So this is very vanilla. If I embossed, it would be in white, and it just wouldn't match. So I decided to go with um, just stamping cinnamon cider on very vanilla. I prefer the dye, not a fussy cut fan. I think I'm, like, outnumbered. Maybe I should stop fussy cutting in my lives because I'm the only one that likes it. <laughs> Well, I did say you don't have to fussy cut. I'm sure there's a really fun uh, rectangle stitch uh, die that would fit perfectly. Or even, where is it? The tasteful label dies. There's got to be one in here that would work. Oh, yeah, this would totally work. So if I had to use a die, and I already had my tasteful labeled dies out, this is the one that I would work, would use, excuse me. It fits, like, perfectly. So there you go. There's something for everyone. <laughs> oh, no problem, Lisa. Hello. Um, okay, yeah. So I'm going to, again, use more dimensionals. You're going to need your dimensionals. It's just it's just the way it is. And I'm going to put them straight onto my cardstock because, I again, I'm working around leaves. <laughs> oh, you like the look of it? I do, too. I do, too. It's very similar. Oh, Hold on. I'm, do I have a catalog? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't have a catalog. How do I, how am I at my craft desk and I don't have a catalog? It's like the new, um, the die set that's like bright, enjoy. What's the third word? Um, it kind of does this for you, but it's a die. So if you don't like the look of fussy cutting, but you, like if you don't like doing the fussy cutting, but you like the look of it, that's definitely uh, a bundle to get. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so I'm just putting two little dimensionals here. You're jealous. Bring them over, Penny. I'll do them for you. I don't mind. Oh, there's a stitched rectangle too. <laughs> too funny. Okay, so two little dimensionals there. I kind of have the sentiment hanging off just a little bit. You could always, um, to tack this side down, put a little bit of glue right there on your little leaf and make them be friends and then call it a day so I really really like how this came out I do like the cinnamon cider as opposed to the yellow mostly just because I'm not a fan of yellow and um and I like how this cluster came out again each cluster unless you're like pretty particular they're gonna vary just a little bit ever so slightly um Love that bundle. That's my style of fussy cutting for a sentiment. Your style of fussy cutting is using a die. <laughs> that, that's your style. <laughs> um, that's funny. So I really, again, depending on what you like or whatever, I love this bundle. There's so many options. Again, it's available in the annual catalog. It covers Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, um, just general like a birthday card. So love it. And it's definitely worth um, getting. So check it out on the my store. Head on over there. If you have any questions, certainly let me know. If you've been watching and have yet to leave a comment, please do so so that you have a chance to win tonight's card. As soon as I'm done here, I'm going to throw all your names into hat and one of you will be the lucky winner for tonight. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me tonight. And I will see you back next week. Bye-bye.